And before I went to the vet appointment, my husband said, well, I, I think that Mr. Darcy walks funny. And I thought, oh, there's no way he walks funny. Like he's growing so fast. I kind of equated him to like a gangly teenage boy. He kind of reminded me of like a, like a cult, like learning how to walk or something like that. Like he just kind of like had a little wiggle wobble, you know? By the time he came to me, we already had x-rays and already knew that he was in the category of puppies that has severe disease. His hips were actually dislocated from the time of birth. So it wasn't just that they were a little bit loose, which is the general definition of hip dysplasia, but they were actually completely out of socket. We talked about the fact that if we didn't do surgery at a young age, it might be possible that he may not be eligible for surgery. The risk of that would be that then he would be a dog who would be disabled for his lifetime. So we took an approach that was pretty aggressive with him where we did his first surgery right around nine months of age before he was getting deformed, but at a point where he was kind of mature enough to take an adult-sized implant. In Mr. Darcy's case, I actually talked to the owner about doing a CT scan in addition to all the x-rays that we were doing uh, preoperatively. And what that allowed me to do was to print these 3D models of Mr. Darcy's pelvis. So I really wanted to get a big cup implant in. And right here is a little model of the cup implant. I wanted to get a very big one in to reduce the chance of hip dislocation postoperatively. And allowing us to have these models really allowed me to prove to myself that I would be able to fit this larger implant into his existing bone stock. We never do both hips at the same time. Most dogs are affected similarly on both hips. Mr. Darcy is now one week out from his second total hip replacement. And so far things are going very well. He has about an eight week, eight to 12 week recovery period. So we're gonna see him again in about seven more weeks. And at that point, we're gonna do x-rays and a physical exam and make sure that everything seems to be going well. Yeah, I don't see any definitive concerns. Yes. And with him doing well clinically, I think everything's probably in the clear. Oh my gosh, I was so, my husband and I were both yes. so nervous just about how his muscles and his bones yes. were healing. Oh, this is it. Okay, yeah. so tell us what's going on. The goal of a total hip replacement is really that he's back to being a normal dog, or in his case, he's never been a normal dog because he was born this way. So hopefully getting him to be a normal dog where he can even rough house and run through the woods and stuff like that without too much concern for the rest of his life.